Hey everybody, this is Kevin with KME Creations and today we're going to uh, cover something that was uh, asked by one of my clients. He, I was doing a PowerPoint presentation mock-up for him and he had some information there and I added an arrow, an up arrow like you see on your screen on this uh, slideshow here and he thought that was really cool. He thought uh, that I had used like Photoshop or something like that and I actually didn't. Uh, I just cre actually created a object in uh, PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and do that. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Insert and we're going to go to Shapes. Now when you click on Shapes you're going to have all types of different shapes here. And the most common arrows that I normally use, they're real common for me, is usually the block arrows. And I'm going to go ahead and select one and just going to go ahead and just kind of place that Oh, let's make it like that. Okay, so there we have our arrow, and now you can resize this any way you want to. These little yellow nodules here, you can make this. Uh, let's see if it'll let me do it. You can move it up, move it down. Uh, oh, I don't know. That looks uh, that looks kind of cool there. And we're going to widen the base a little bit. So let's go ahead and widen that. So there we go. There's a basic arrow. Now. The arrow just like this for me just isn't enough. You know, it just uh, it looks okay. Uh, it looks like you put some thought into it, but let's really uh, give this some flavor. Let's go ahead and format shape. You do that by right clicking on the arrow and format shape, and we're gonna we're gonna add some gradient to it. And my predefined colors are already in red, so we're gonna add some red there and. Uh, let's leave the white there a little bit. Let's take the brightness down a little bit though. Let's uh, do a little bit less bright. There we go. And that looks okay. It looks okay like that. If we wanted to just leave it like that, we very well could. And again, in my previous tutorial, we can add text in here if we wanted to. But let's take it a step further. Let's go ahead and right click on that again. Let's go ahead and format shape. And let's go ahead and let's see. We're going to change the line color. We're going to make that a solid color and we're going to make it, oh, let's make it a red. And then we're going to do a line style. Line style is fine. Line color, we just change that. Uh, I mean, it's okay, but it's not really the color I'm going for. So let's see if we can make it a little bit darker. Let's, uh, there we go. That makes it a little bit darker. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to 3D format and let's really make this thing pop. We're going to add some bevel to it. There's our top, there's our bottom and our size is fine. We can add a text box later. If we want to add a shadow, we can add a little bit of a shadow. We can go with the uh, outer, the inner, or the offset bottom. Well, let's go with offset bottom. Doesn't look too bad. You can see it right there. Now let's go ahead and do some 3D rotations on here. I have to go back. I didn't have it selected, so let me go back into format. And 3D rotation. So we can go with our predefines, which are like so. I mean, these do look pretty cool. You know, you don't have to really think a whole lot about it. Um, you can go ahead and use those. Or we can just go ahead and change however we want this to look. So we go back to no rotation. That's our normal one. If we want to put a 3D rotation on it, we can add our rotations just by doing that. And there you have it. You can go ahead and make a arrow for your PowerPoint presentation. Looks pretty cool, pretty cut and dry. Don't forget to save your work, and thank you for watching. Have a good day.